Hi everyone, it's Glenn here again, just doing an RC video this time. Um, my RC tire warmer um, finally turned up. It's the RC, this one, this here is um, Sky RC and the part number is 6 triple zero six four dash oh six um it comes with the this spot it comes with i'll show you is they come with these they're full of the um one tenth scale tourer cars as you can see there um but obviously i'm using this for my drag car not for a tourer so what I've done is I had to go out and purchase. I'll show you in a second. Let's put these back in the box because yeah, I'm not going to use them, but I might as well look after them just in case one day I may, you know, do that type of thing. So let's put it back in the box here. So what I end up getting is just bear with me, guys. Sorry, is these ones here. They're the adjustable, got the Velcro there, so you just wrap them around, whatever size tire you want to put them on, so it goes all the way down, like so, you can see there, um, as you can see they're a bit stiff, I haven't used them yet, but I wanted to use them, um, these here are the, they're still Sky RC brand, these here are, um, might try to zoom out a bit for you. There you go. Yeah, so these are the Sky RC ones. Um, still got the same plug that's going to fit. As you can see right there, we'll plug them in and I'll show you, show you roughly what I've done. I've just been playing around with it. Don't know everything about it just yet, but I'm still figuring it out. So these mats here are the tire warmer mat for the 1 8 scale. These ones here are, um, because as you know, the rear tire of the drag car is a bit bigger than normal. So that's why I had to get them there. Let's go up my arm. And then I've also got this battery here. Um, just to run it. It's 4S battery. So we'll plug this in and you'll see. I might see if I can zoom in a bit more for you. Onto that. Hopefully it's clear for you guys. Let's see if we go three. There you go. So as soon as I plug this in, it turns on. There we go. And then I'll connect. It's telling me I've got to connect the front and rear. But if you connect just the rear, it'll work fine. Just like so. So I've got to hit. So now it comes up as that. So as soon as I press quick warm. There you go. So now, so I had to press across to accept it. And as you see, it's just them two lights there lit up. That's the only two that are working and that's what it's getting up to. Now it's at 30 degrees. Sorry about my arm in the way. These here are 30 degrees. You can actually feel them coming through. I do have it set for only about 50 degrees. Um, I think it goes all the way up to like 60 odd degrees. I think it does. So I'm not exactly too sure how hot I want to make them. Um, if any of you would know about any of this type of stuff, let me know what temperature you would warm up your cars before a run and all that, like your tyres. And then at least I know, See, as you can see, the light turns green and it's at 50. And it will hold that as well while that just stays on at 50 degrees. Like I'm touching it. It is, you can touch it, but it won't burn you. It just feels nice and warm. So that's it there um you do have a dc input just on this side here and just that one there that's for your fronts but yeah we don't need it for the rear oh okay so as the temperature drops it turns red and then when it gets back up to temperature it will turn back to green again just like that so that is the tire warmer that I've got. I haven't used it yet, but just let me know what temperature you would recommend if you wanted to go up to, if you're running like up to 55, up to 60, up to whatever. Let me know. Just so it gives me some sort of an idea of what to 
run it at. I'm just going to leave it at 50 and just see what I can get out of it. Um, but yeah, that's that's them there. Uh, it's just a just doing another video, like just a quick video. All of them nest, all of them mainly are quick videos. Um, just to you know, just to get a video out there and like moving to this new area, I'm not sure where a nice smooth road is still. So I'm trying to find one so I can use my drag car. So it, where I'm living at the moment, it's just all hilly stuff. Um, I'll zoom back. This is a container I made for my electronics. As you can see, out of my wires. Um, I made this little, little bits here, to keep everything in, you know, reasonable sort of order so it doesn't get tossed around too much, as you can see. And then I've got another one here, which it's for my charger here. So what I might do, I'll whack that in there, and I'll cover that up. That, got my charger there. And then all I do with these here, I just chuck them in there. Make sure I don't crimp them, but I'll probably end up just, I might just fold them. Like so. And then I do have my charging cord here. That'll just get chucked in there. Like so, and done. All put away and locked up in a broken box, as you can see there. So, um, I'll move that out of the way. And also, what I'm looking at doing as well, is I'm grabbing my shell. Just hold on a sec, guys. Grab my shell over here. All right, got my shell just here. I'll move it back a bit. Um, as you can see, she's she's worse for wear, but it's still, you know, doing the job. Um, what I'm looking at here is braces, just making them. I don't want to spend a fortune on braces. I know, I know the plastic ones, and I think they're even carbon fiber. I'm not 100% sure what the other ones are. I know they're uh, cheap. I know they're not that expensive. Um, but for me, I just like to be, you know, I like to just do my own thing and just try to see if I can get something that's going to work. So if I break something, at least I know I can fix it then and there on the spot or, um, or at least I know I can, oh, I need a couple more of them. So I've just broken them instead of going to spend another, whatever the amount is on some new ones. So I'm thinking about using these as little support. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it exactly, but I want to, but I've got some here cut off. I've only cut them out of these skills. As you can see there. And honestly, for $4 for 50 skills, if this actually works and it's not going to affect on how fast the car runs and all that type of thing, well, geez, that's really a no-brainer, you know, unlimited realistically um but what i'm gonna do is i've made six already there's two four six so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna weigh i'm gonna weigh four of them and just see on how much four of them weigh on extra weight on my shell or well, they'll tear it off it's at 11 that's not gonna help There you go, that's four, that's six grams. So if I add an extra two, that's 10 grams sitting right there, which that's not too bad. Oh, 13, 14 grams, jeez, still going 15. What the hell? I think there's something wrong with my scales. It's running up 17, it's going up to 20 by itself. Is this bloody affecting it or what? Nah, uh, I think my scales are on its way out. I teared it, and I'll drop all of them on there. I'm gonna go by the initial weight, not watching it run up. So if I do this, four grams for all that, for them there. So that's, is that 0 0.2 of an ounce? So that's, I don't reckon that's too bad considering, even if that's five, what's the shell weigh? Do 
try not to let it touch the ground, but it still is. The shell is at, say, 220. Then that will zero off again, and we'll chuck all these on there again just to see. Four grams of all them sticks. So I'm wondering if I can use these sticks here. I'll zoom in a bit for you guys so you can see a little bit more. Probably not the best angle actually. I'm just trying to, I've just rearranged my desk. I'm just always trying to find a good angle for you all. And I'm using a new camera mount where it sits just that little bit higher. Um, so I can swivel it like so. And then I can lift it up and down, whatever I want to do. So I'm just trying to just trying to play with the angle and stuff like that at the moment. So yeah. So that's four grams. But what I'm thinking about doing is cutting these on an angle that's gonna fit that shell and then double sided tape it on there. I've got some really good strong double sided tape. So realistically, if they do break off, you can just peel the tape off and put another one of these on. Um yeah, that's that's my way of thinking. I know it's never it's never that easy. I understand that. Um, but yeah, we'll see. You know what? We'll we'll give it a go. We'll see what happens. We'll cut. We'll try to cut one to to the right angle and see what happens. I can't even find my good bloody knife that I had before I moved. It's like everything's bloody gone missing. So if I cut this sort of on that sort of an angle. It's a, it's a nice clean cut. If you can see that, just like that. So, if that you can sit. See, that's the plan, but I don't know if it's got to sit on the inside. You know what, we might have to make the longer ones. I don't think they're going to be long enough. So if I can cut this here off, here, Just bear with me guys, I don't know if you can see this or not, probably not. I'll move it up here. Just trying to cut this this skewer with the knife here, just so then I might make it a bit bit longer, but that means it's gonna weigh a little bit more too, if that makes sense, because you're gonna have that little bit extra weight. So that's yeah, so you can't really do anything about that, but I'm hoping that this would work. All I want it to do is, like I said, just support the sides. I don't want nothing too heavy duty because it's just going to add more weight where you don't want weight. Um, but a lot of blokes that are drag racing now are doing this, bracing their shells, but not like this. They're actually going out and buying the, the plastic kit with the screws that, that bolt through on the sides here, that bolts through there and there, and it's like, well, I don't really want to have a bolt on the outside of this, you know, so... If I can, see so if I could put that there. I'll zoom back a little bit for you guys, so you can see. So if I put it where the window is just here and actually cut it to support. Where's that? There we go. So just like, my goodness. So just like, so, so if I cut it off, say there I'm just roughly troubleshooting it just quickly on camera um, just see if it works don't work well then I'll probably gonna be in the same boat as everyone else and have to get buy one or buy some offline and whatever else so so I'm just roughly guesstimating on what I need where I need it done um, yeah so there you go. So that gets there and there. That actually would hold it pretty good. Cut, it, cut them both on that sort of same angle. So if I cut you there. Is 
So I'd like to, as I normally do, I love to thank all my subscribers and people sticking with me over these crazy few months, years, <laughs> however long you've been with me for. Um, yeah, thank you for your support. Thank you for your messages and helping me out and all that. Very, very much appreciated. Um, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't, you know, if it wasn't for you, you know, supporting me, watching my videos and commenting, liking. Um, but yeah, if you can like more of my videos, I'll be very much appreciated with that. Um, just so then I can see what people are liking, just so I know what content to start putting out. Um, like I said in my last couple of videos, I'm looking at maybe doing a few fishing videos. Um, like I said, let me know. I've had a few people say yes, I want me to do fishing on this channel, um, which is great. I'll probably, I'll probably will start doing that. But I just want to try to get a majority type of thing going on, so then at least I know who wants me to do it and who doesn't. Um, only because, you know, I know not everyone wants to see it. I know it's an RC channel that I've done here. But if you don't want to see a little bit of fishing on here as well, well, let me know and I'll just do it another another channel with fishing on it. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just an idea at the moment. Um, now since I live near the beach, I've got a lot more options with fishing and all that type of thing as well. So that's the reason why I was that's the reason why I was bringing it up. Um, yeah. So let me know in the comments if you want to see it. If I don't hear nothing, well, I might just put up a fishing video. But it's not going to be all the time either. Just remember that, guys. Probably going to be once, if we're lucky, once a month. Because I've still got work and all that that I'm doing as well. So if, if we're lucky, it'll be once a month or once every couple of months. And I'll probably still stick with the RC side of things here if you're interested in that. Um, yes, I am going to take the drag car out. Um, when? I'm not too sure. Like I said, I can't, where I'm living, it's very hilly, so I can't find a flat, like a nice flat bit of road to run it on at the moment. But once I do, you know what, I might even not do that, I might just, as you can see there, just like that, that's the plan. So I might even just double side a tape like that. Um... One there, do one here somewhere. Just support these side bits. Oh, oh shit, there goes my knife. Um, oh. So yeah, that's the plan for the drag car. Um, I do, like I said, I've still got a few more builds and all that sort of stuff I have in store as well. Um, yeah, I've still, I've still got um, I've still got quite a few more things here to do. So, but like I said, it's just um, I'm just tinkering around. Thought I'd just do a video out of it. Try to try to figure out some ideas. Let me know if you think it's a good idea me doing it this way with the sticks, or would you rec would you recommend to uh, use that plastic or the car? I think it's carbon fiber. I'm not 100% sure that the other bodies. Some other bodies use um yeah just let me know if it's you know if it's going to be a good idea to use it i personally i just think it is they are pretty they are pretty sturdy um but i know if i break them well it's easier to replace like i said because i got a heap of it there so that's plan there um but yeah with the Actually, you know what I'll get now? We'll do this as well. While I'm going, I'll get this other body here. I'll put the wheels on it while we're going. So I've been wanting to do put the wheels on this as I moved. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I just gotta move my mat. So yeah, like I said, we are going to be using the drag car, but it's just a matter of when I find a, a spot to use it in, that's all. 
So I'm not sure what this brand, I'm not sure what this car is. I don't know if it's a GV or not, but the shell is pretty flimsy. Like you could lady turn it on and soft sort of thing. As you can see there, like, without even cracking. So I don't know if it's probably 90s, I'm not 100%. That's it there, inside of it. Needs a really good clean. Um, as you can see, needs a motor, needs another belt here to run off here to here for the all-wheel drive system, or otherwise it's just rear-wheel drive. Um, yeah, but it is, it is belt-driven, as you see underneath here as well. Just not too sure. Actually, I think it is a GV. So it does have GV on the ESC. So I'll just, I run with it, say GV. Um, and then, yeah, someone, someone will clearly fix, will sort it out. So even up here on this servo, I'll try to zoom in for you guys. Sorry if this camera angle is a bit funny, just trying to sort it out with my new setup. So it just says GV on there, just there. So it might be GV brand, um, yeah. So what I'll do, I'll whack the wheels on this thing. Um, and then yeah, well, all my other tools put away. I wasn't planning on doing this, but yeah, I'll do it now while I'm here and then have a chat. So, but yeah, let me know what you wanted me to do, what you want to see, um, would help out a lot. Just, um, you yeah, I've got so many, I don't know, not options, but I've got quite a few ideas what I want to do. It's just, um, you know, I don't want to lose my subscribers if they want to just see RC stuff or I'll stick with the RC stuff and make another channel. But if you don't mind me posting up a bit of fishing here and there or even my saltwater tank like I have, let me know. If you want to see more of that even and I'll, you know, if you want to, if you want to ask you questions how to set one up from scratch for, that's my very first one that I've ever had um, and set up from scratch. It's in a six foot tank. So yeah, like I said, it's not, they're not very hard to look after. Um, but what I've learnt over the last say few weeks and it doesn't sound long with that tank, it, yeah, it would probably help a lot of other people if they want to do the same thing. So, but yeah, I want to have a lot more great RC drag content coming up, but I've just got to find that, that bloody spot. The one nice smooth area, no bumps, humps, no dips. And around where I am, where it's not, where it's reasonably hilly. And most of the car parks around here, like at the shopping centers and all that, they've all got bloody speed humps. So you can't really do too much um, at the moment. That's all. Like that's that's the only problem. So it's just to, um, just a matter of just trying to find that one spot to get it done. But yeah, I'll just whack this wheel on, and yeah, we'll just call this video. This that what I'm trying to do with that drag car. I'll probably end up just doing it offline. And I'll just, um, when they're all on there, I'll explain how I did it, if that makes it easier, so you don't have to watch that all over again, sort of thing. Um, it was just an idea. That's why I thought I might post it and just see what everyone's idea is, or even show me what you've used, even. Um, instead of going to buy that stuff, you know, on eBay or from all the hobby shops and all that type of thing, just let me know where you, where you get it from or what you've used, so then it gives me an idea. Um, on what to do. Not what to do, but it gives me an idea on what everyone else has done, sort of thing, so, so I can, you know, do the same, sort of thing. So, that's the plan, anyway. But yeah, I just want to support it, because I know as I'm getting faster, I did adjust, actually, I did adjust the, um, did adjust the bloody the boost level over halfway I think it was at 20 now I've bumped it up to like 23 I think it is now so I'm hoping I should I'm hoping I might get to the 2.6 2.4 2.5 2.6 2.7 2.8 2.9 2.10 2.11 2.12 2.13 2.14 2.15 2.16 2.17 2.18 2.19 2.20 2.21 2.22 2.23 2.24 
2.5, I think. Fastest I've been was 2.7, and that was at 20. So I'm hoping that I might be able to get down to that low. Um, if I get low, I will, I'm ecstatic. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be more than happy. Oh, which one is that? Shocks are a bit stuffed here somewhere. Oh, the ball's been... Uh, okay. It's like the chassis, bloody... I'll drop his down here and give his a look. Wait, I've got to loosen off this, but that's it. So as I do this, I'll show you this. I just noticed. So I do a front on view like this. And that wheel, when the back wheel touches, that's off that high. So I might have to tighten these here up maybe. I'm not too sure. If you look at the back wheel down there. Now it's off. Now it's on. Off. So and that's just me touching that. So it's something I'll have to look at, but like I said, I only got this. I shall forgot I actually had it, to be honest. Um, you know, they don't make holding anymore, so nothing wrong with, um, you know, keeping it. I was going to throw it out, and I thought, well, it'd be a bit of a waste. I know it needs a lot of work, but you know, on this channel, we don't mind that a little bit. It's another learning curve, I suppose. So, but we'll, I'll get to this one day, like the like the rest of them, as we all know. You know, plenty of jobs and no time to do them in. So, and this body, it just seems like it's too, there we go. It just seems like it's too narrow or buckled, I'm not sure. Um... Need some clips. Are they there? Um, so guys, just looking. Oh, so I've had this stuff, all this stuff, packed away for over a month. I think the end of November last year, I've had it packed away. And I tell you what, you forget where all the freaking stuff is, eh? I know I had it. Clips in something. Gliding. You know what? Oh, there they are. There. They're right in front of my eyes. Oh, get them open. Don't need the big ones. Just grabbed a pinch of them. So, yeah, the plan is to work on this as well, but. We'll wait and see. I've still got a few other jobs that I've got to do that I want to do. Um, like the Cobra over there, the the Serpent there that I want to do. I want to fix that up and get it get it started and running as well. Um, but that there needs a little bit of work, but I might, I might even see if I could just run that on the 4S battery. I'm not sure what the R8s can run, or the RX8 ESCs can run on. I'm not sure if, what the minimum is, if it's 6S or 4S or 8S, it's something. I've got to look it, look it up, but wouldn't mind running, wouldn't mind trying to get that at least kicked over and just see if we've got something going on there. Um, but yeah, that'll probably be for another video very soon, hopefully. So, all right, guys. Um, yeah, so that's it here. It's a bit, hmm, the shells, don't think the shell's right for it. Or I need really deep dish wheels for it because I've got so much room inside there, as you can see. So, but yeah. So with saying that, I'll probably, I probably might make a start with this serpent just to see if I can get it going um, over the next video or so and just, yeah, make a start on that. So, I'd like to thank you for everyone again for sticking by me, sticking through me with all this stuff that's going on, I guess. Um, 
Thank you for all the support. Thank you for sharing and liking my videos. Um, if you have any ideas, yeah, send them send them along. If you know with uh, like this sort of stuff here, um, let me know if what you're using, if you're using something that works a bit better than just skewers, would be great to know. Um, but yeah, just let us know. So at least it gives me a few more ideas and figure out what to do. That's, that's the only idea that I could come up with. Um, but yeah. So, but thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I'll see you on another video. Bye.